Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the Nikon FM2 35 millimeter film camera. Okay, let's take a look. Hey, what's going on guys? Mike Stetchison here, and today I'm gonna to be giving a brief overview of the Nikon FM2 35 millimeter camera. Oh, it's so pretty. This is actually the first analog camera that I bought, and it's a camera that I still use to this day. So without further ado, let's do an analog overview. Okay, so this is the Nikon FM2. I'm just gonna push this little lens release button right here so I can take the lens off. Just comes off like that. Okay, so you can probably see on the inside here we have the reflex mirror. There is also a lens release button at the top right there. On this side of the camera, we have two of these little levers right here. So this guy right here is a self timer lever. You just push it down like that and then it'll go up like so. And this lever right here is a depth of field preview lever. Just push it down like that and you'll be able to see a preview of your depth of field. So the lens I use is a 50 millimeter f1.4. I just attach it on the front of the camera like so. Just align the mount and turn it until you hear a click. So on top of the camera, we have the shutter release button right here. And then we also have the ISO speed ring as well as the shutter speed ring that you can use by just turning like this. And over here we have the film advancement knob which you just move forward, press the shutter. And on the other side we have the film rewind knob as well as the camera lock lever that you just push right here. And you also have the film rewind button right here. This is the button that you're gonna push when you start to unwind and unload your film. So on this side we have the battery chamber. This is where you're gonna put your batteries. And then this is the motor drive electrical contact that you can use when you're attaching a grip. Okay, so that was my little tour of the Nikon FM2. Now let's load it with some film. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do when you're loading this guy with film is you wanna push this little lock lever forward and you're gonna lift this winding knob up right here. This is what you're gonna see. You're just gonna push it up a little higher and you're gonna see that the door is gonna unlock. And that's what the inside of the Nikon FM2 looks like. So you can see that right here we have the shutter curtains. Right here we have the film cartridge chamber. And on the other side you can see right here this is the take up spool. This is what your film is gonna be loading into when you start taking photos. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is put your film into the film chamber like so. I'm gonna scooch this guy in, perfect. So what I like to do is I like to push the rewind fork down. I just have the film there, ready to go. So what you wanna do is you wanna move the film down these film rail guides. So little metal bars on the side and you wanna try and stick it into the take up spool and make sure that's lined up with the grooves. Once you've put the film into the take up spool, you wanna use the rewind knob to tighten the film. Once the film has been put into the take-up spool, the next thing you want to do is close the gate, just like so. As you can see at the top of the film camera, there's this little film indicator right here. So what you want to do once you've loaded your film is you want to wind it until you see it at one. Just As you can see here, the film indicator says one, so we are on the first frame. We are ready to shoot. As I mentioned earlier, this is the ISO and shutter speed ring. The film ISO I loaded is ISO 800. So what I wanna do is I wanna input that ISO into this shutter speed ring right here. So if when I input my ISO, I need to lift up this little wheel and I need to change it so it could reads as ISO 800. So you can see here, if I didn't lift the ring, it's gonna change the shutter speed. But if I lift the ring up a little bit, it can change my ISO. And there we go, ISO 800. So to get a proper exposure on the camera, what you want to do is change the shutter speed and the aperture. So on the top of the Nikon FM2, we have the shutter speed wheel, which you just turn like so. If you lift it, you change the ISO, but if you just turn it like this, you're just going to be changing the shutter speed. This camera shutter can go as fast as 1 4,000th of a second, or you could turn it all the way to the end and have it on bulb. So that's as long as you hold the shutter down, the shutter will remain open. 
So you can see right here at the base of the lens that we have the aperture numbers right here. So if you want to change the aperture on your camera, you actually have to change it on the ring of your lens, just by turning it like so. Inside the viewfinder, there is a three light LED light meter that helps you determine the proper shutter speed and aperture settings needed for a proper exposure. The plus sign LED will tell you that your picture is overexposed. The minus sign will tell you that your picture is underexposed. And you will see a perfect zero in the center of the light meter telling you that you have perfect exposure. What you want to do is play with your aperture settings and your shutter speed settings until you find that perfect exposure. Okay guys, that's my overview of the Nikon FM2. If you guys like this video, be sure to click that like button. And if you want to stay up to date on all the recent videos I will be posting in the future, please hit that subscribe button and ring that little notification bell. Later creators.